Today we're back at the Tour Van with another head-to-head -head driver comparison for new drivers here in 2023. Ping at G430, the LST model, and the Titleist TSR2. Uh, a little bit of a different comparison, but we've got Kevin Kraft in today to show us some testing, give us some data with TrackMan. Golfers, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and tell us in the comments what you think of the new G430 drivers or the Titleist TSR drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf, and today I'm joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club Fitter from Columbia, in the tour van here at Minnetonka, because we're testing some drivers. Um, I've got the Ping G430 LST, mm -hmm. you've got the Titleist TSR2, Two. and based on what we've seen so far between you know these drive the G430 drivers and what we saw from TSR end of last year into this year, uh, I know you thought this would be the best test. And so yeah. kind of talk us through that. And we might add a three in there, but let's let's go, let's go talk through it here. Okay, so essentially the TSRs have been out now for, they came out what? Late September, yeah, early October yeah, or something Yeah, I think like last that? fall yeah. sometime. So it all blends together yeah. for me. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> um, so we've had these for a while. So I've had a lot of time to spend with it, see what the numbers come out to. And in all the testing I've done, the TSR2 has been very low spinning. For me, if I go into the three, it pushes down into a danger zone, and I also have a very hard time turning it over. So uh, this is a driver that I have as a, uh, sort of as a backup in, in my arsenal. Um, it's extremely forgiving, which is great. This driver here is extremely forgiving, which is also great. Mm -hmm. uh, they are both going to be low spinning drivers. Uh, if I am absolutely wrong, we will throw the three in there because <laughs> there's a precedent for it. I was wrong once. So, well, I mean, we've all been wrong at some point. Yes. So uh, I don't. I mean, I don't know if that's today the case. You know, for for this, but, we're going to find out. Um, there's going to be data. One way well, yeah, that's true. Uh, that's why you know these are kind of like a scientific experiment. You know, you mm -hmm. have a hypothesis and then you test and you get all the results. Uh, you learn that back in elementary school. But I need even whiter hair and maybe a lab coat. Yeah, yeah, true. Maybe a beaker or something. Yes. But yes. Uh, today we don't have that. We have golf clubs, and okay. uh, that it's funny because the TSR drivers. I think what we've noticed in our initial testing last fall and kind of throughout the winter was that the two, they made it more compact. They mm -hmm. made it more like the three, where you know that's it looks more like a player's driver, if you will, yes. more workable, and so. The fact that you're seeing that low spin makes a lot of sense to mm -hmm. me because I've I, I've definitely seen it trend that way. And people yeah. have, there was actually a story when we went to Titleist and we heard from the Titleist reps that I believe it was Chess and Hadley who started gaming the two and they didn't even realize it was a two. We thought it was yeah. the new three yeah. versus the TSI series. He thought it was a three because he had played the TSI three. Now he's in a TSR two because he thought it was the same club. So there's something to the look being a little bit more compact like the previous you know, three models out there. So good. I yeah. mean, it's just so good. Um, the, the TSR2 is the biggest change in the line, and they just nailed it in terms of the look of this driver. Mm -hmm. You just put it down, and it just, just says, oh, yeah, I look good, I feel good, I sound good. Now, hit me as far as you can hit me. <laughs> That's, that's exactly what you want the driver to be telling you. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, Absolutely. If your driver's going to tell you anything, that yeah. should be it for sure. Yeah. So yeah. we'll look at the look and the feel and the sound, kind of mm -hmm. get your feedback on that. But then ultimately, yep. it's going to be about the performance, the it data, is. and all that it stuff. It is. It's a very numbers-driven uh, game. We'll see if the three gets in the mix. If, yeah. if you're right on your hypothesis, we will leave the TSR3 in the drawer. But I'm ready to hit some shots here. I'm ready to hit some shots here. Okay. 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 I could pull a Zach Johnson and hit it right off the toe into the wall. I mean, it won't count. He's, really, he's really good at that. <laughs> he's, he's done that so many times. Yeah, so How funny. has he not adjusted his like, pre-shot routine? Know. I don't know. It would freak me out being that close to it. Uh. <laughs> I'm actually a very big fan of Zach Johnson. Uh, he yeah. and I played mini tours together for a while before he became big and I stayed small. And uh, Well, it, can't, it could have been that long after that he won the Masters. Yeah, so I hadn't seen Zach in at least a decade. And when I was working out on tour, we were at the World Match Play down in Tucson. Mm -hmm. And I went into the clubhouse and I'm walking down the hallway toward the pro shop. And here comes Zach Johnson coming back up. 
I haven't seen Zach for ages. Zach hasn't seen me for ages. He's met a million plus people in the time in between. And I wasn't going to, you know, try to play anything. I just said, yeah. hey, Zach, how you doing? And he stopped for a second and he goes, hey, Kevin, how you doing? And it was, I just thought that was awesome. Yeah, that's I mean, sweet. For him to be able to go back into the into the memory banks to a, a lowly mini tour player yeah. that, you know, he uh, he would have whooped up on like he whooped on up on everybody else, <laughs> I thought was, uh, was pretty that awesome. That is cool. That's yeah, really sweet. So, yeah. Ooh, there's some extra speed. There you go. Okay. Plenty high enough. Yep, it is plenty high enough. Smash Factor is just not great. I'm a little bit all over the face on this one. I don't know. Human error. Nah. Yeah. The driver's going relatively the same distance every time, which I think well, speaks to forgiveness. Good. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Mm. Well, we've got the left and the right covered. I have all the shots. In the center, actually. I have all the shots. I have all the shots. That's what you say. Just don't know when they're coming. That's actually a great tip for the viewers out there, is if you've got a double miss going like I frequently do, you just tell your playing partners that you've got all the shots today. That's correct. Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. Okay. Well, all from right. a numbers standpoint. Yeah, let's do that. Let's look at the numbers quick here. I'll bring those down. So the numbers, five shots, variety of shots, <laughs> um, 105 and a half club speed, 155.7. Ball speed, smash 147. Um, so I think one thing I was noticing is the spin rates. Yeah. So you had these three shots that were identical almost. Yeah, right? very consistent. One, two, and four. Across, yeah. Um, you had kind of the, the, I guess, pull. It was kind of a pull, kind of a, a yeah. you know, pull draw, if you will. Pull, pull draw. Yeah. That was down to 2,000. And then kind of the open face high fade was mm -hmm. 25. So that's kind of your spin range, right? Yeah. It's going to be, if you hit it left with like a pull, you're at 2,000. If you open face fade, 25, 50, 58, anywhere in between there is probably where you're going to be. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. So, yeah. and then with that, the distances on every shot were almost the same with yep. the exception of this first one. Yeah. You had 265 or 267 on every carry. And then your total was between 285 and 294 every single time. So, and that's not new for ping, consistency and forgiveness. No, that's, uh, that's kind pretty, of the hallmark of a yeah. ping golf club. Yep. Yep. Very, very forgiving. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Immediately, a little bit more speed. Ooh. All right. Ooh, we're going to get 160. Oh. Wow. He had a whole seven feet of curve. Mm. I like that. You can't be having seven feet of curve. You gotta bring that down. <laughs> Little toey. That's gonna help the spin stay down. Oh, no, it's still kind of going up there though. 2025. Oh, interesting. Low spinning driver. <laughs> <laughs> TSR2. Low spinning driver. Yeah. Okay, so five shots. Yep. And um, so one thing I want to do, because I think with both clubs, we sort of had a little bit of, and I'm not, I'm, I promise I'm not meaning this in a crit critiquing manner, but I wanted to sort of highlight the differences in stri strike location throughout. Okay. So you're kind of, uh, I mean, kind of still sticking in that right quadrant though with that one. That's right, kind of where you that's, want to be. That's where I like. That typically, top left, where I the like top the left quadrant is yeah. ideal. I mean, there's a couple that were like you know lower towards the equator. That one sure. was a little bit higher and and and. Uh, so, click it, know. click it to make it. You know, just click up on. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, right here. Yeah, so there's your heat map, right? This yep. is this is what I like to see from a heat map. Yep. A little high is fine. Right down at it's fine. All those areas are going to give you a pretty pretty mm -hmm. low spin. So, you know, with ping, it was just still toey. Toey, I'm being, you know, it's still being picky, right? Because you're still relatively in the center of the face. Yes, but it does it does dip down into the into the southern quadrant yeah. there. You know, that's not the quadrant of death, but it's no. not exactly the quadrant of life either. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I suppose. But I mean, so the, the reason, I don't know, the reason I brought that up is because I think I was just trying to showcase the forgiveness of the drivers in the sense that you can hit the ball. I mean, you can kind of get away with things a little bit more as we talked about yeah. in the sense that the spin rates that you created with, especially with the Titleist, I mean, look at how similar all yeah. of them were. 76 RPM variance across five shots. Yeah. 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 You're, you're just hovering around 2000 with every single one. Um, and then this last one, which again, it is an italicized one for whatever reason, it didn't quite put up perfectly. So yeah. it might not be exactly but 2180, right in, but yeah, it's, you're still in the same window. Yeah. Right around 2000 yep. spin. Yep. And then same, I mean, same with ping too. It's the consistent spin rates across the board with both drivers are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for um, sure. So I think it was just, I mean, you're right about Titleist and the TSR2 being a little lower spinning. I think that's very clear now. And then um, we can look at some other metrics here. Distance wise, it created a little bit more distance mm -hmm. with the lower spin. Cause you, as you mentioned at the beginning, you are that player chasing low spin yep. and chasing as much yardage as you can get yep. with the driver. So that when you get up there, you can just unleash it and trust that it's going to be straight and trust that it's also going to chase out there. And look what you did here on four of these swings. I mean, look at this. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the big thing, right? If we were, if, if I was working with a customer and, and this is what we saw, and this is kind of a pretty big spread here. You know, I typically use here to here as my, yeah. as my fairway. It's 30 yards, fairly right. tight fairway, right? Yeah. But I've got four in here compared to two. Yeah. Guess what? Which one do we hit longer? Which one did we get the most consistency with? Which one went the straightest? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in this test, again, we're, we're going head to head with TSR2 and G4 to 30 LST. Uh, I mean, it, I think everything points Titleist in this test it because does. things shrink a little bit. And I mean, those four shots right there are alone. You did the four best shots of the test really yeah. were Titleist. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and the, cur the average curvature on the ball was minuscule. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything else is more or less. I mean, look at how similar the swing was across the board here. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got that's, that's the face to pass. It's 0. Good 0. 0. That it is. is. Yeah. yeah that, mm -hmm. That's, that's you being the great tester for this, <laughs> for this video, but more efficient with the Titleist driver, yep. a little bit lower spin in which case for you, you like better. Yep. And I think you're also proven correct about Titleist TSR2 being a low spin driver. So that does mean TSR3 is even lower than TSR4 is even lower west. I would be out of the three. I would be somewhat terrified to hit the four at this point. I think there's a very small percentage of the of players in the market that would fit the TSR yeah. four. Yep. Um, but the TSR two clearly is a forgiving enough driver. It still mm -hmm. packs that forgiveness. It does. It's very it's a very stable head. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of forgiveness to it. It just looks, I mean, it's just a great looking driver. Yeah. Just a great looking driver. Packs that forgiveness with that low spin that a lot of players are kind of seeking that combination. The yeah. high, the kind of the high launch and forgiveness with the low spin. You can have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Well, this is a pretty good test. Yep. I like it. I yeah. like it. And it was one that I think a lot of golfers are going to look at it. They might look at the title or the, you know, and see LST versus T. I mean, what? Yeah. Like what the what heck? Was, yeah. But I hope. They clicked and they saw the explanation so at the too, beginning. Because it, it really, yeah. it, it, it played out exactly as, as I expected to. I yeah. didn't necessarily know that it would be lower spinning yeah. than the LST, but I knew that it was a fair yeah. test. Yeah. It was definitely yeah. going right. to be a fair so test. So we don't need to throw the three in there right we now. Don't. We, we don't. We don't. Huh. We can say that it's probably, since it's designed to be lower spinning than TSR2, we would say TSR3 definitely lower spinning than G430 LST. Yeah. Uh, but And honestly, it's the other way it's a really fair test is that that's a very forgiving driver. Yeah, you know, it is. Their, their lower spinning version is still a very, very forgiving driver. Mm -hmm. Well, so is this. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, two great drivers, yep. like the performance from the TSR2 today is fantastic. Yep. The ping is still very good, right? I mean, yep. very consistent distance dispersion there. Yep. Um, still going the same distance every time. A lot of consistency on the spin. The TSR2 for you, you just squared it up, you hit it straight. Dare I say spin consistency. And yeah, spin consistency. I actually got it right. There you go. I usually just say spin city because I can't. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. So too many zzz 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 going yes, on. But yes. it's like Mississippi. But um, Titleist TSR2, Ping G430 LST, two really good drivers, two really good performers today in testing. Uh, but if you are curious about these drivers or any of the drivers out this year, go get fit at second swing. Someone like Kevin will take care of you. 
You'll be hitting longer, straighter bombs off the tee. And bombs. hopefully play better golf because of it. So, Kevin, thank you for joining today. Thank you for doing the testing. Sure. Uh, really good one today. A unique test, but I think one that people needed to see. Yes, absolutely. Very fair.